Today I'm going to walk you through how I went from a complete beginner to a pretty decent artist between 2020 and 2024. So it's kind of like a drawing journey walkthrough. So anyway, my drawing journey started back in February of 2020 when I started by following along to cartoon tutorials from a YouTube channel called Cartooning Club How to Draw. And I created some of these like here, but I actually became like obsessed with these drawings. I was creating one like every single day and I didn't realize it back then, but I was actually training like my referencing muscle in terms of taking what was on a screen and putting it down onto my piece of paper. And it was this referencing muscle that was like really important when it came to doing realism a bit later on. So anyway, fast forward a month, to March of 2020. And obviously, as you probably are aware of, there was a small thing called COVID and we were all kind of locked away. So I thought, you know what? I'll have a crack at realism. So I did, and it started off pretty weird and not necessarily realistic, but I kept practicing and gradually it got a bit better and better until I produced this Mandalorian. And this Mandalorian was the drawing that I did. It was like a kind of like mindset, mindset shift that went boom. You know what? I really enjoy this and I want to try and be an artist. So if we come to October now of 2020, I actually started doing commission work for friends and also local people. So like drawing their dogs and horses um, using charcoal and graphite pencils. And honestly, it was doing these commissions and having that confidence that people were actually paying me for my work. It was just like insane. And if you are like on the fence about doing commission work for people, I really would, because as you can see here, these aren't the best drawings in the entire world, but the fact that people were actually like paying me money for them and actually wanting my work, it was just amazing. And it's like just a very weird feeling that you don't get um, unless you kind of do commission work. So yeah, I would highly recommend that you do it. And anyway, I continued doing these like commissions and I gradually got better and better. Um, but yeah, they were using just charcoal and graphite. And I did really want to start to incorporate some colored pencils. So in August of 2021, I did my first colored pencil drawing of a dog. And I've got to say, this actually blew my mind. I was so happy with this. I cannot like explain. But the reason that like my first attempt with a colored pencil dog drawing turned out so well is because I practiced the skills of using tones to convey 3D shapes and also the way that the hair flows on the face and stuff just so much with the graphite and charcoal drawings that I've done that when I got the colored pencils, I could just focus on which colors need to go where because how the tones and stuff fall on the face, it was just so ingrained in my brain that it was kind of like second nature by then. So anyway, I continued to do um, lots of commissions of horses and dogs and things from August of 2022 all the way to January of 2023. And as you can see here, the theme is that I'm doing a lot of drawings. There's no like weird secret at the moment. So yeah, it's just the volume of drawings that I was doing and I was just getting better and better pretty much. And it was just, yeah, pretty cool. So anyway, I just realized by doing all these portraits that my favorite parts out of doing them was doing the eyes. And the reason is, it's like you can just blend the pencils so smoothly and then the colors are just really intense and stuff. So I thought, you know what? What subject requires me to create this really nice smooth blending throughout the entire thing? And yeah, that is cars. So in February of 2023, I completed my first car drawing and I kid you not, this was so fun to do and the results were just, I just love this so much. It was just so cool that it just started me on like a car drawing frenzy. I went a bit crazy and I just drew cars upon cars. Here are just like some examples of the ones that I did. But anyway, there was one day I was questioning what car to draw next. And you know, I had a really cool idea that no one has ever drawn a Lego car, or at least not to my knowledge. So in August of 2023, I drew a Lego car, more specifically the Lego Bugatti Chiron. And this was just so cool. It's like a car, but on like another level because you've got so many like more details and stuff and you've got the panels and yeah. It was just really fun to do. I mean, it was challenging, but it was fun. So anyway, this started me on like a Lego car drawing frenzy. So I drew like the other four ones. I drew some other Lego cars as well. And it started me, I thought, okay, I've drawn Lego cars. Why not draw Lego minifigures? So yep, I started doing that as well. And some of these Lego minifigures are actually like my favorite drawings that I've ever done, more specifically this Mandalorian. I love this drawing so much. It's just really cool. And anyway, this kind of like Lego drawing thing just led me on to create some things that like just, Back in 2020, if you ever showed like younger me what I could draw now, he would be like, yeah, you're joking. <laughs> but yeah, this bike here, it took like 65 hours to do. It's just like, it's crazy to think that you just come back up here. So back in 2020, kind of, this is like peak, what I thought was like my peak drawing ability. And you come all the way down to 
2024 where I'm at today and it's just, just crazy. Now, the whole point that I'm actually making this video isn't really to show off. I mean, hopefully you've kind of been like inspired by um, my drawing journey and you can see that, yep, yeah, it's pretty cool. But anyway, the whole point is to prove that there is no shortcuts. There's no like hacks. There's no like quick fixes when it comes to drawing. You've just got to get a pencil, put it to paper and you've got to draw and you've got to draw and you've got to draw. And when you think that like, oh, I've hit my maximum drawing ability, just know that you haven't. That's like impossible. There is always something that you can take from the drawing that you have just done and you can tweak it a little bit and carry it over to your next drawing and make it slight improvements. And it's just this slight improvement from each drawing that you do that it just, it's just like a never ending journey because there's always something like it is just always something. And now this can seem like overwhelming because it's like, it's like a constant seeking of improvement. So you never necessarily feel um, that you've kind of like, there's no like goal to aim for. It's just like an enjoyment of the process, if you get what I mean. And you can sometimes feel like you've plateaued or indeed you're going backwards or you can feel like you're demotivated. And this is why um, I've actually created a free drawing community over on a new platform called School, where people um, like myself and like you too, you can go and if you enjoy colored pencil drawings, you can like post your work there. You can also like, get support and advice for your work um, after you post it. And you can also be like inspired by other artists who are posting there as well. Um, I also have um, like free courses there as well to start you on your drawing journey if you would like to draw, but you're struggling at the moment. And yeah, it's actually a really cool place. I've been doing it for a couple of months now and lots of people have been really enjoying it and have found loads of inspiration from it. And yeah, it's just really cool. So if you want to check it out, it'll be linked down below. And yeah, I hope that my drawing journey has inspired you and I look forward to seeing you inside the Drawing Guild, which is the name of that community, very soon. Thank you for watching.